Good evening, everybody, and welcome into the Milford High School as Milford TV brings you coverage of the Scarlet Hawks Athletics. This is Joseph Pavone on the covers tonight as we get set to bring you this matchup between the Milford boys basketball team and the Stoughton Black Knights. Milford's continuing to fight for their playoff lives as they travel down to the final stretch of the regular season. The team was able to take care of business here earlier this week, defeating the second place team in the Davenport division, the Sharon Eagles, by the final score of 57 to 56. That game was highlighted by a game-tying half-court bucket at the buzzer by Zach Tamani to end the third quarter and a game-deciding layup from Dimitri Torres with four seconds left in the game. The win was Milford's third in their last five games, and they'll look to continue on that momentum tonight as they take on a 6-10 Stoughton Knights. Stoughton has been struggling lately. Coming into tonight's game, they have lost five of their last six games, but both of these teams will have their backs against the wall when it comes to their playoff hopes. Milford, of course, needs to win four of their last five games to earn a playoff spot, while Stoughton would need to win all of their four remaining games if they want to make the tournament. It should be an exciting one. It is Milford taking on Stoughton, and we'll have the opening tip coming up next, right here on Milford TV. We are just about ready to tip off here in Milford. As both teams join the floor here, I am joined by my co-host, Carl Wilhelm. What's going on, Carl? How are you doing? Not too bad. It's a great night for basketball, and these two teams had a rough January, but they sit next to each other in the standings, so both one and one in February need a big push here with the final stretch. Absolutely. Very important game here. Milford gets the opening tip, and we are set to go here. Anderson pops out, receives the pass, gives it out to Torres. Torres to Arcudi, to Tamani, Tamani. Back out to Arcudi, back to Tamani. Tamani's going to reset. Anderson looking to make a drive to the hoop, but it's stripped away. Regained by Torres. Out in the corner is Arcudi for three. And just like that, Milford is on the board. Elson Lopez brings it up, gives it up to the corner here. Cameron Andrews inside. Cameron Gomes back out. A nice block from Anderson. And Milford gets the ball back here. But, oh, there's a steal here. Elson Lopez driving to the hoops. Going to give it behind the back. <laughs> Did you see that? Great play. Ryan Sullivan finishes there. And again comes Lopez with the steal. Deflected by Milford. And that's going to go back to Stoughton. Got to watch out for Stoughton. I have a sneaky feeling they're better than their record indicates. Very active on defense to start off. They earn themselves another possession here. From the corner, three off the mark. That's Brandon Teixeira, who uh, leads the league in scoring, but Dimitri Torres on the other end is going to respond with a three-pointer of his own. And Milford's up 6-2. to two. Anytime I, I feel like Stoughton's a favorite here tonight, if you're going to beat a head favorite team, you got to knock down the three ball. A uh, nice drive by Lopez, but it's no good. And back comes Milford. All oh, right to the middle to Kelly. Kelly. No foul on the play, and back comes Stoughton. And Andrews has it stolen by Dimitri Torres. Torres going straight to the hoop, and he gets it to go. Great start here for Milford, who lost last time these two teams met, 77 to 60. Off to an early six-point lead. Torres off to a hot start after hitting the game winner in the last, last game for Milford. Now he's got uh, Milford's five, five straight points for Milford. That was quite the game here on Tuesday night. Rebound Milford. Tamani looking straight to the hoop. He's going to take it and one. <laughs> Zach Tamani taking it straight to the hoop. And there it is. I made Gets the signal the foul. for him. Stoughton needed a timeout. I have to agree with you on that one. A 10 to 2 run. Milford opens up. They look to stretch that out to. Uh, 11 to two run, where uh, when Tamani comes back and gets a chance to uh, get a shot at the free throw line here. We'll be right back with more of the first quarter right after this break. And welcome back as uh, Zach Tamani looks to complete a three point play here at the free throw line to stretch the lead out. And he'll get it to go. 
Milford being very aggressive here on both ends of the floor. Stoney gets over the half court line. Inside shot is good. Cameron Andrews hits the jump shot, but back comes Milford. Torres looking to drive. Gives it back out to Tamani. Tamani's going to take his time here. Picks up his dribble, gives it to Anderson. Anderson gets about three, gives it out to Torres. Torres to Arcudi. Great movement here. Zach Tamani takes a three. And he wow. Yeah. They three for three from beyond the arc tonight. It's a good start. First uh, big lead here as uh, Milford's up by 10 and then get the steal. Well, Lopez gets it right back and he's going to uh, get the foul. As him and Tamani have been very aggressive defensively here. Tamani, especially aggressive on the offensive end as well for Milford. Shara gives to Andrew Andrews. Back to Teixeira. He's going to take a three. It's off the mark. Teixeira not afraid to shoot. Is the leading scorer in the league, averaging just over 18 points a game. Got three pointer from Torres. Woo! He nails it. Man, Dimitri Torres is feeling it. Back comes Stoen. Lopez. Takes it from the free throw line and nails it. So Dimitri Torres with seven of Milford's 17 points. As they look to add on to their lead here. Dwight was just open up top. Got to utilize that matchup Dwight's got right now. Tamani in the corner. Drives past his defender and he gets it. Oh my. Almost gets the end one. Well, he's gonna go. To, he's gonna get to the line and get two instead. Nice move. Strong take there to the lane and to the hole. Put it off the backboard. Just couldn't get it to drop. But you gotta pay attention to Dwight Anderson because Stoughton isn't. And they've been trying to switch every time he's cutting across. And there's lots of switching going on in defense, and they're losing their man. Dwight was wide open twice in that series. And Milford's going to make their first substitution here as uh, Arcudi is going to take a seat. Rebound is Stowen. Stowen is going to come back here. Here comes Lopez. Puts the Gomes inside. No good. Inbound from underneath for Stoughton. Outside to go. Lopez. Hot potato. Oh, regained by Stoughton. And they're going to get called for a travel. So Lopez lost control there. Ryan Sullivan regained possession but traveled with the ball. So it's going to go back to Milford. Lopez very aggressive defensively on Tamani. But Tamani's going to get past him, get to the hoop again, misses it. Rebound Stoughton. Out comes Lopez to inside. And Stoughton's going to get the layup there. As Ryan Sullivan finishes it. Torres to Anderson. Anderson taking it to the hoop this time, and he gets it with the left hand. Stone looking to uh, trim this double-digit deficit right now. They look to go inside here. Back out. Skip pass to Andrews. Andrews back to Lopez. They're down to 10 seconds here. Lopez feels the pressure, gives it inside to Sullivan. Sullivan back out. And the attempt is no good, but Lopez is going to get the offensive board. Three-pointer from Cameron Andrews. Cuts into the lead here. 
Milford up 19 to 11. Torres for three. Wow. wow. I didn't like the shot when he took it, but he's feeling it tonight. Huh? He's feeling it. He's being relentless throughout this entire first quarter. He's up to 10 points now. Torres, the man who hit the biggest shot of the game on Tuesday, the game-winning layup, has brought that same exact momentum and intensity on the offensive end for Milford. With a fast-paced first quarter, very uh, entertaining basketball for sure. Absolutely. Uh, look at the Stone and Black, uh, excuse me, Black Knights continue to fight here. They're not letting this game get out of their, out of their uh, grasp, but Milford is fighting right back here to keep their distance away from uh, Stowen. Uh, I don't know if Milford can keep this pace up on offense, but if they can't, it's going to be uh, an easy victory for them tonight. However, you got to worry about Brandon Texera, the leading scorer in the league, averaging 18.1 points per game. He's been quiet so far. Been very quiet. He's had a couple of attempts here, but hasn't been able to get into his offensive rhythm. Which is understandably so because Milford has just been all over them. Just based on the numbers, they look a little top heavy. So if you can shut down Texera and Andrews, it's going to be difficult for Stoughton to score. Down to Stoughton. Stoughton. Out to Andrews. Andrews inside for the layup, and he gets it to go. Right into Sharon. Just right, right when we're talking about him, he's on the board now. Anderson thinks about the three, takes it, doesn't get the bounce. And here comes to Sharon for Sowen. It's a charge to Sharon. Tries to go inside, and he's going to wow. not get the offensive charge. It's going to be a defensive foul. Going against Milford. I thought he put his head down, shoulder down, and thought he was on the football team. That's Josh Andonian who gets called for the foul. Stone inside. Doesn't get the layup. Nice job, Milford. Anderson. Aggressive here. Out to Torres. Torres for the layup. He gets it to go. Torres with half of Milford's points right now. He has 12. Milford's up 24 to 13 with about one minute left to go in the first quarter. Let's go inside here. Fouls called against Milford. That's, that's the rest of the Milford game. And that foul's going to be whistled on Torres, and he's going to take a seat here. Stowen, skip pass to the corner, back out, up top. Cameron Andrews, nice steal. Turns the ball over, but they get it right back. Ends up back into Andrews' hands. Back out for three. No good for Stowen, but they're going to get the offensive board here, so they get another chance. Inside pass, back out to the corner for three. No good, but they're going to get another chance here, another offensive board. But Milford steals the ball. All the way to the hoop for one, almost gets it to go, but he's going to get to the free throw line. Anthony Arcudi with the aggressive hands gets the steal, and now he's going to get two uh, free throws. It's my uh, third game this year, but this is the first time I've seen them look like Hawks. They're flying around all over the place tonight. I would have to agree with you on that, man. They're all over the place. Let's see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a while to get there. <laughs> Free throw, no good. Rebound, Stowen. We'll take it back up here. Matthew Vale. Slips it pass. He's going to get it back here. 12 seconds to go. Ryan Sullivan to Vale. Vale going to take it to the hoop, but that's going to be a travel. Took about four steps on that one. That's going to be Milford's ball with 4.7 left to go. And Coach Seaver is going to get his make a line change. His hot shooter into the lineup here, but he's going to be the inbound 
passer. Anderson's going to join him as well. They're going to try to put a play together here. Takes it up. Back to Monty. Skims the rim on that half-court shot. And that is how we end the first quarter here. Scarlet Hawks up 25 to 13 as they jump ahead at the end of the first quarter. On pace for 100 points if I did my math right there. Yeah, they are. Which that would be a remarkable thing if that could happen tonight. I don't think the scoreboard goes to triple digits. We'll see what happens in the next three quarters. We'll be right back here with uh, second quarter coverage on Milford TV. Back with second quarter coverage here as the Milford Scarlet Hawks are going to look to add to the lead here. Dimitri Torres, certainly the star of that first quarter with his 10 points. Inside look. Fadeaway is good. So Ryan Sullivan starting to heat up here. He's got a couple of shots in this one. Gets that one to go for Stowen. But back comes Milford. Anderson. Tamani thinks about it. Out to Arcudi. He doesn't even hesitate. He sinks the three from the corner. And Milford has been deadly from outside. They've been really getting those shots to go here. Six for seven from three-point land. Stone looking to build on their inside scoring, but as he gets tied up, he got a jump ball, and that's going to be Milford. Tamani Lopez. Out to Torres, Torres to Anderson. Anderson with the fake to the hoop. And he gets the good, gets the layup. Milford with a 15 point lead, the biggest of the night. But the whistle for a foul. Fouls will go against Anthony Arcudi. Andrews out to Lopez. Lopez gets it back. Inside. And he's going to get the foul here. Cameron Gomes. Made a move to the hoop, and he'll get two. Just wait, First one's see, no good. I didn't see tonight. Uh, usually there's some sort of theme in the jungle. I don't notice uh, any fan activity. I'm surprised that we're, they don't have some kind of theme going. It is Friday night. It's usually when you see uh, the costumes come out. It's hoping for a little Mardi Gras theme, possibly. You know what? I bet you they're keeping the superstition going, you know, since they didn't dress up Tuesday night. <laughs> Such a thrilling win. We got a foul here. Lopez gets whistled for the reach in. And inbounds and back comes Milford. Michi Torres loses his dribble, but he gets it inside of Anderson. Anderson back out to Torres. He's not going to think about it. He's taking a three. In and out. Almost gets it to go. But we got an offensive rebound. Back out to Anderson. Anderson going straight to the hoop. Doesn't get it to go. Box out for Stoughton. And here they come. Anderson probably should have kicked out there in the last drive. He was driving into four guys of traffic. A well, great play on the other end for Milford as they tie up Brandon to Sheriff. Jump ball is called, so Stone's gonna get the ball, but of course, you know, you do a play like that, you just get the ball back the next time you get into a jump ball situation, so that's a great heads up play by Milford to stop.
Stoughton's offense. Here comes Stoughton to share. To Sullivan. Sullivan gets it inside. And Gomes going to get it to go. That's Cameron Gomes inside. Last trip down the court, Torres almost got that three ball to drop. Inside look, and he's going to be whistled for travel. Not sure if that was a pass or a shot. <laughs> he wanted it to be a pass, but it almost went in. Anderson thinks about the three on the other end. Here comes Torres into the lane. No good. Back comes Stoughton. Brand to Shara. Outside. Jared May here. No good. Offensive rebound straight up. Doesn't get it to go. We got a foul. Torres, Torres looking to set something up here. Uses the scream, gives it to Anderson. Anderson looking to go inside, he does, but it's tipped away, and back comes Stoughton. Andrews finds his open man down low for the easy layup. Stoughton slowly chipping away here in the second quarter. Nearly got it down to a single digit deficit. As Milford's holding on to the double-digit lead, 20 to 10, with about four minutes left to go. Anderson thinks about the three, takes it, no good. Offensive rebound, no. Stowing's gonna grab it, and back here, back they come. The black, the black knights from the corner, no good. As Brandon Teixeira continues to have a tough offensive night. Arcudi for three, no good. Those shots that were dropping early in the first quarter there seem to be falling a little short here the last couple trips down the court. So Milford gets whistled for a foul. Ball's going to go back to Stoughton. Milford built themselves a nice cushion with some hot shooting early on. Now they need to settle down, take, and take care of the basketball, and have good long possessions each time down the court. Well, Coach Seaver has turned to Caden Kelly here who had a great game on Tuesday so we'll see if he can add some offensive push to the to Milford. Okay. Offensive rebound by Stoughton. Torres nearly picks up the steal but he's going to roll out of bounds. Rebounding is going to be a problem for Milford. It seems the size that Stoughton has down low is going to give them a couple extra chances especially if this thing gets close late for Stoughton to get back in it. Speaking of inside presence, here comes a layup that is no good. 42 and 31 are some big boys. Milford taking the time here at the offense. Inside Torres with the slash move. He splits his defenders and gets the layup to go. Nice move by Torres. Inside. Is there a travel on Layup that? is good. May have taken an extra step, but Cameron Andrews gets it to go. It's a hop, skip, and a jump. Torres with the hot hand. Takes a three-pointer. No good. Stone's going to get the ball back here. I'd like to see Milford create a few plays to get Torres some open looks. He's been having to create a few of his own shots, and I think he's forcing a couple of the last ones up there. Well, now fouling has become an issue here because Milford's in the uh, foul trouble here. And now Stone has a chance to add to their deficit. 
or cut the deficit, I should say, from the free throw line. Yeah, back in the single digits right now. You want to hopefully see Milford keep this thing around 10 going into half. The second one is no good by Andrews, and back comes Milford. Torres looking for Kelly. Gives it back out. Help, help, help him. There you Tomorrow go. looking for help. Gets it out. Here comes Anderson with the floater inside. Off the mark. That ball was never really floating. Had a little lift and then just went <laughs> right down. Yeah, just didn't put enough, <laughs> enough float into it. Well, here comes to share. Wild pass picked up by Milford. Oh. Wow. Wild shot, but it drops. Samaro with the steal and the shot gets it to go. Milford back up. Back into that double digit range as they lead 34 to 23. Inside. And there's your shot from to share. Torres from the corner, no good. Rebound Vale, Vale turns the ball over as Torres tried to throw it off his defender but couldn't do it in time before falling out of bounds. And he, so uh, Stone's gonna get the ball back here. I think Torres is gonna benefit from halftime. The last couple of shots, it's been more armed than legs. Torres sat out the final minute of the first quarter but hasn't really seen the bench since to Sheriff from inside the free throw line gets the jumper to go. And that's back-to-back -back jumpers for Teixeira. Seven point game and that's Teixeira's move. He gets more involved, this thing will tighten up in a hurry. Torres looking to go inside, back out. Jump, jump shot three, no good. Rebound Kelly, Kelly to Torres. Torres looking to go inside. The crazy Woo! up and under layup from Torres. Man, he's feeling it. He is feeling it when he's going inside, making those moves, those flashiest moves that we've seen all night. And Teixeira tries to answer, but he doesn't. Offensive rebound by Stoughton. Milford fighting for the loose ball here. And we got a timeout from Coach Seaver. Coach, great, great decision there, because you have the possession arrow going your way, which means you have the chance to do what the Patriots like to do here. You got a chance to score and get the ball to start the second half. That is the Belichick way, isn't it? <laughs> Great heads up play from Coach Siever with the timeout. So now Milford will have the final possession here as the shot clock will be turned off. We've got 29.5 seconds left to go in this first half. Leading by nine, chance to put it back into double digits right before the half. And then when you come out in the second half, maybe get that lead back up to where you had it at one point when they were doubling up. Stoughton, 30 to 15. How important is it? for Milford to make sure that Stoughton doesn't get a chance to respond before the end of the, uh, end of the first half. I think regardless at this point, uh, you wanna, you'll you take a nine point lead going into the half, so you wanna hold this ball till about seven seconds left. Right. And then, you know, hope for the best, but I, I would try and set up Torres for a three ball here, get a good momentum boost going into the half. I think people are a little surprised that this game is as high scoring as it is right now, and the margin is in favor of Milford by nine. Absolutely, I think it's very, it's, it's more important for Milford to keep this lead than to add on to it, because you don't want to give Stoughton a, a last second chance to trim their deficit going into the second half. And all you got to do from this point forward, the rem remainder of this game, play them even, you win. So here we go. Zach Tamani taking the ball up here. Torres, Torres taking his time to Anderson. Anderson back to Torres. Tamani takes a look at the shot clock, and now they're going to set their offense. Tamani loses his dribble out to Arcudi for three, and he gets it. Big basket right before the half. A prayer is off the mark for Stoughton. It's not answered as Cameron Gomes tries to add on for Stoughton, but it is no good. 
Milford Scarlet Hawks with a 39 to 27 lead heading into halftime. As they have led this entire game. First half takeaways. Other than the explosive offense, what else do you got? I'm impressed. <laughs> I think that what Milford's done here in the last minute of that half, I think was real impressive due to the fact that just a few seconds ago, you were looking at a seven point game going into the half and Stoughton had the ball. Instead, you get the jump ball, you turn things around. Uh, or excuse me, you avoid the jump ball. Great coaching, calling the timeout, get the three. Now you got the ball to start the second half and a chance to get that lead back up to 15 and really put Stoughton on their heels. Milford will look to keep the intensity up throughout the second half as we'll uh, take our break here and be right back with the second half coverage right here on Milford TV. So, Carl, what do you think Stone's going to try to do here to get back into this one? What do you think their uh, game plan is? Guy the by the half? name of Brandon Teixeira. I think that's just it. give him the ball and let him go. Game plan. Just let him go, huh? <laughs> Well, Teixeira was able to hit two of his last three attempts at the end of that second quarter, so we'll see how he responds here in the third. Torres inside to Kelly. Kelly almost gets the ball back, but it's deflected. And here comes Stoughton with the quick layup to start the third quarter. Elson Lopez which is exactly how he started off the first quarter with that same intensity on both ends of the floor as he's all over Tamani on the other end. Tamani to Kelly. Kelly to Torres. Torres taking his time here. Trying to avoid the double team. Out to Tamani. Tamani's going to reset here. Milford almost loses it. Back out to Torres. Torres is going to be... Travel. Call think, for a travel? Yeah, I think he was bobbling the ball as he caught it. Okay, yeah, because it looked like it was a travel, but I didn't see the referee signal for one, so. But it looks like it's going to be a turnover for Milford. And back comes Stowen. All the way to the rack. No good. Offensive rebound. Back outside. Three-pointers no good for Andrews. Torres loses his rebound. Here comes Teixeira from the corner. Inside, look. No look pass inside to Xavier Rashid. And he gets the easy layup. Torres on the other end. And Milford's going to slow it down. Good telly with the drive. Lead back up to 10 for Milford. Cameron Andrews, spin move over to Mani, layup, no good. Rebound Kelly, Kelly battling for it here. He gets tied up. Xavier Rashid seeing his first minutes here in the uh, second half and making his presence felt. He hit one layup, gets the jump ball against Milford. That's going to give Stowen the, the ball. Inbound pass is stolen by Tamani. Tamani, play. quick pass out to Torres. Torres to Arcudi. Back out to Tamani. Tamani's going to give it out to Anderson. Anderson looking to go to the hoop, but he strips. Elson Lopez strips him, but he loses control on the other end, and Look back up. comes Milford. Here comes Anderson straight to the hoop, and he gets, no, he doesn't get the layup. Rebound. Back to Shara. To Shara goes back. Nearly loses it, and he does. Back comes to Anderson. Charge. Yeah. Tries to go to the hoop, but gets whistled for the offensive foul. That's 31. Dwight Anderson uh, is playing well, just a little too aggressive, head down. Uh, last time before the charge, he had a chance to kick it back out to the corner. Torres was sitting all by himself. So he, went, and he went up with his right hand from the left side. Oh, nice. A little awkward. Drip. Here comes Torres as he heals Elson Lopez, but he loses it going up to Shara, to Rashid. <laughs> this is the. Uh, this is this. Is it just me? The sequence has been uh, a little unpredictable to say the least. 
It's back and forth and no scoring. Needless to say, is Tamani almost stole it, but stepped out of bounds. Inbound pass underneath Milford's basket. Teixeira controls it, takes the three off the mark. And Rashid gets the ball back for Stowen. So Xavier Rashid has been very effective here in this third quarter. He's, uh, this is the first minutes he's seen all night. Lopez. Out to Andrews, Andrews, out to Rasheed. Rasheed's gonna get it inside to Teixeira, and Teixeira's going to be called for a travel. Wow, so Teixeira got a good look underneath, but took one too many steps as he made his move to the hoop, and back comes Milford. Kelly up top, hands it off to Torres. Torres, working on Rasheed, gives it in. Or outside, excuse me, on the other end. But Tamani, Tamani looking to go inside here. And we got a foul against Stowen. Inbound play to Kelly. Kelly's at the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Tamani gets the screen, doesn't use it. Doesn't use it, excuse me. Back out to Arcudi for three. No good, rebound Stowen. Here comes Lopez. He's going to look to go inside here, but he kicks it back out. Teixeira to the corner. No good. Rebound Milford. Lots of back and forth, but the score remains the same. Tamani uses the screen from Kelly. Out to Torres. Torres thinks about the three. I thought for sure that was going up. Me too. Inside, Tamani with the floater. Lane opened up for Tamani as he was able to take it right down the middle. And Milford back up by 12. 31 to 43 here, just under four minutes to go. Here comes Lopez down the middle. No good. Rebound Kelly. And back comes Milford. Torres got the lane. Inside. It doesn't get the layup, but he's going to get two free throws instead. Another good take inside by Torres. Really does a good job of getting into that lane and creating a shot through traffic. It was certainly the case in the first half as he got out to a hot start in the first quarter. Had a couple threes to go, but the majority of his uh, points have come from those layups where he takes inside. Well, and after he missed uh, those couple three-pointers towards the end of the first half, I know this team's been trying to drive a little bit more, fake the shot, and then go into the into the lane instead. He's been able to get past his defender, so I think he knows the matchup he likes when he decides to go inside. It's always nice that when a player recognizes he was hot early, now how is he going to score in the second half? Really helping his team. Andrews with the corner gets it to go, and that's a three. Cameron Andrew sticks a three. We'll cut the deficit a bit here as uh, Stowen is still up by 11. 45 to 34 with 317 left to go in the third quarter. We're going to take this break and be right back with more coverage of the Milford Hawks against the Stowen Black Knights right here on Milford TV. Back with third quarter coverage here between Milford and Stowen as Milford is uh, able to keep the double digit lead in this third quarter so far. Milford's doing a good job, you know, dealing with a couple, you know, when you, if you compare it to a boxing match, they're getting a couple jabs, a few low body blows, but then they're coming right back, weathering the, the small storms and keeping it right where they need to, just play them even up for you know, 11 more minutes. Hmm. 
to Shara. Gets the ball inside. He's whistled for a travel. That's his second consecutive travel call. And Milford's going to get the ball back. So they're looking to Shara to get them out this hole. And Milford has done a good job there, especially on that play where they're able to put a double team on him and get the ball back. Torres looking to use the screen. Gets it to Anderson. Anderson inside. He finds his open teammate, Tamani, for three. No good. Rebound. And the putback is good. I don't know what Jared Maher was doing there, but he checked out instead of checking up. Alex Masek gets the layup to go. So an open jump shot is good. Cameron Andrews. Been able to hit that mid-range jumper throughout the night for Stoen. Going out to Torres. Torres, I got to Anderson. Wani crosses over. He keeps going, and he loses the ball. There comes Teixeira. Teixeira misses the layup. <laughs> Torres with the rebound. Maybe that's why I haven't seen a lot of Brandon Teixeira tonight. Must be struggling. It's been an off night for him. He was able to hit a few uh, consecutive shots right before halftime, but since then, he's been struggling to get. It doesn't count as you throw it through the hoop underneath, right? No, not no, quite. Okay. Not quite. And just like that, on cue, there's another turnover from Teixeira. He looked inside to his teammate, Xavier Rashid, who's gotten off to a good start in this second half, but wasn't able to handle that rough pass. Here comes Milford on the other end. Travel. And shuffled his feet before. Right. That's a travel. Ball goes back to Stoughton. Now that's the problem if you're Stoughton, and maybe why their record is where it is, is that when you're a top heavy scoring team, you really rely on two guys to do the bulk of your scoring. One of those guys isn't playing so well on any given night, it's gonna be hard to win a basketball game. Sullivan to Teixeira. Teixeira goes through two defenders, splits him, and gets the layup. And that's where his points have been coming from when he stays between the foul lines. Outside, Anderson takes a three. Big three. Sticks it. Again, Milford handling a couple small body blows. Comes right back, knocks down the three. Even up from and the And there's one spot behind that arc that Anderson likes. It is the elbow. That is his sweet spot when it comes to jacking up those threes. Teixeira goes inside, back out for three. No good. Offensive rebound. Inside look, back out. Teixeira gets it to go. And he has a chance to complete a three-point play. Ryan Sullivan with a good look. Inside to Teixeira. And now he can get this down to single digits. The difference in this game right now is really that hot shooting that Milford got off to, and then they've played solid defense since that point. See how things work out here in the fourth quarter. Who has the legs? Gets the free throw to go. Hey, he's going to take a seat, but I'm sure we won't, we won't be sitting there for long. We'll see him soon in this fourth quarter. As the third quarter winds down here, Milford up 50 to 41, 28, 27, 26 seconds left to go. Anderson thinks about the three, passes it off, gets it back. Swing to the other end, Torres is open. He takes the three, in and out. Rebound Stoughton, and they got nine seconds here. Vale, back outside for three. No good, off the mark. Rebound Milford, and that's how the third quarter ends. So the Stoughton Black Knights were able to get their double digit deficit down to nine. But that is the closest they've gotten here as Milford is hold on to tough defense. 
an efficient offense. 50 to 41 to end the third quarter. Carl, eight more minutes. What do you think it? Well, let's see. Milford scored, what was it, 25 points in the first quarter. Yep. They've gotten 25 points in the last two quarters. The last two quarters combined. So that whole 100 point thing <laughs> that you were alluding to earlier, I don't think it's going to happen. But they're still up, though. They're still up, so that's good. Again, like I said, uh, I think late in the second quarter, play even up basketball from here on out, you win the game. So the fans here. Fans, up, fans here are jacked up. They believe that they're going to win. As the chants are going here. I've been going back and forth in my mind what I want to see Milford do here in this fourth quarter because part of me says just keep playing an up-tempo game because they've been winning it. But then if you take your possessions each time down the court, you can shorten this game up and give Stoughton less possessions on offense. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, tough call for the coaching staff here. Do you want to keep that high-flying act you had going that got you to lead? Or do you want to slow it down? Except doing it better. Except doing it better. Inside look to Kelly. Kelly misses it. Stone comes back outside. Vale doesn't think about the three. Off the mark, rebound. Off the fingertips of Andonian, it looked like. That yeah, that's going to go back to Stone. I mean, I know what it is. I just don't know. Brandon to share with the inbound pass. Right underneath Milford two. Okay. Tip, typically when you yell, something's happening to me. <laughs> three point is good. That's a big three ball. Cameron Andrews, been very consistent tonight, hits a big one. Uh, Cam Andrews playing above par tonight. That's why you wanted to kill that other guy earlier, Matt. It's a big shot. We're hitting a lot of those big shots throughout the night when it comes to keeping the game intact. And just like that, it's only a six point game. The elbow, Anderson's three is no good. And now, Stone has a chance to cut this lead to three or four. Teixeira thought about the three. But he's gonna take his time here. Andrews, outside. Ryan Sullivan, no good. The putback, no good. Rebound by Kelly. Yeah. Kelly strips the ball away. Great aggression there by Kelly. Almost went a step too far. A little get off of me at the end. Stoughton wanted the call. They're not going to get it here. Outside, no good. Kelly again for the rebound. Doesn't get it, instead Arcudi steps in. Milford's gotta do a better job boxing out. You know that Stoughton wants it right now. They're very aggressive on the offensive rebounding, which can also create some transition if your head's up going the other way. Damani, trying to set the office here. They only have seven seconds here. Milford looking stagnant. Anderson with the drive. Nice move. He's going to get to the free throw line here. Great take by Anderson. Bad foul by the big man, Josh Chuba. That's certainly what you don't want to do. I mean, you have a. I think he plays the Chuba. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't resist. I was, I was trying to hold back. With the shot clock down to two seconds. <laughs> I'm just going to continue what I was going to say. <laughs> with the shot clock down to two seconds, that's the last thing you want to do is put your opponent at the free throw line. Well, no, and you know, Anderson hits the first one. You got to be aware there too that Anderson is only driving just to get a shot off, and you just killed some of the momentum that Stoughton had. <laughs> Milford pushes the lead out to eight now. Six minutes left. Only two minutes have gone by in this fourth quarter. As it's looking now, it's, gonna, it's looking like it's going to go down to the wire here. Open look for Teixeira, and he misses it. Teixeira misses the easy one. Layup from Kelly, and back comes Milford. Tamani all the way to the hoop. Yeah, he's going to be called for the travel. Tamani was looking to go on the right side there. Didn't have it. Tried to switch over to the left and took one step too many. 
Mill Teixeira has been quiet tonight and hasn't really stood out. I'm still not convinced we're not going to see more of him in this game. Teixeira passes it inside. And Cameron Andrews is going to get two free throws as he was trying to get the three-point play here. Cameron Andrews having a great offensive night for Stowe and picking up the slack as Teixeira has been on and off. Yeah, Cam Andrews definitely having himself a very good night. Andrews gets both. Very nice shot, good rotation on that basketball. Rolls off his fingers like a pro. I can show you how to shoot like that afterwards if you want me to. <laughs> I got all night. <laughs> Torres to the hoop, turns the ball over, and Lopez can't control the crazy pass, so Milford's going to get the ball back. Got to keep running. That looked like a good pass from Cam Andrews. Looked like Cam Newton. Which Cam Newton are you talking about, before <laughs> or Super Bowl Cam Newton? Paul Seaver's going to call a timeout here. Milford Scarlet Hawks going to regroup. Six-point lead with 5.13 left to go. We'll be back with the rest of the fourth quarter right here on Milford TV. Back with fourth quarter action here. 5.13 left to go. Milford has the ball coming out of the timeout. Big possession here. I think they just need to get some points after how well they were scoring in that first quarter. It's been a struggle here in the last 10 minutes or so for them to it certainly find has. the bottom of the basket. Before this quarter, it's been all Milford, but since the first couple of minutes of the fourth quarter, Stone has been able to cut into this lead here as Milford has a, has a lead by six, which is the closest Stone has been. Tamani Anderson, Anderson, looking, looking. Back to Tamani. Tamani looking to drive. Goes through his two defenders and puts it in. Great take by Tamani. Zach Tamani has been fearless when it comes to going inside as he executes the play out of the timeout for Milford. Milford is to Teixeira. Teixeira almost loses the ball. Back to Andrews. Andrews for a big three. Misses it. Hold Rebound it. Anderson. Run some clock here. I'd like to see him to get the ball to Tamani or Torres and drive. Torres back out to Tamani. Almost got that one to go. Back comes Stoughton. Cameron Andrews to Lopez. Lopez crosses over, passes. Torres doesn't get the layup to go. Teixeira had the rebound but lost it. Yeah, That's going to sure, be a jump ball. I'm not sure what Teixeira was doing there. Did a great job of getting the board and then put the ball on the floor. So a jump ball is going to go to Milford. Four, three left. Anderson. Looks at Kelly, gets it back outside of Torres. Instead, Torres fakes the three, kicks it out to the other end to Arcudi for three. No good, rebound Stoughton. Didn't like that shot attempt with 18 seconds left in the shot clock. The sheriff fakes the pass, goes inside, he's gonna get fouled. He's gonna go to the free throw line here as Kelly, I think, took a, an elbow or a hand to the face, but he, he appears to be all right. I know Arcudi was open for that three, but I think he's gotta be aware of what your situation is in the ball game right now. Up eight with just under four minutes to go. Run a, a bit rush, right. right. Now you got Teixeira back at the line. Chance to bring this back to a six point ball game. And just like that, that is what he does. Six point lead now for Milford. Monty brings the ball up. Kelly looking to Tamani. Takes the three, and he sticks it. Big shot, big shot from Tamani. Zach Tamani 
with five of Milford's last points here in this fourth quarter. Pushes the lead back out. 57 to 48, Milford leads. 324 left to go. We'll be right back with the rest of the fourth quarter right here on Milford TV. 324 left in the game here, 57 to 48. Milford has the lead as they look to close this game out. Stowen with the ball. Bale ends up inside. Wild shot of Cameron Andrews. And now Milford has the ball here. Torres with the open three. No good. But the rebound from oh. Tabani, he gives it right back to Stoughton. Now Stoughton's on a fast break here. Teixeira pulls it back out to Vale. Vale. He's going to look for a better shot. Inside, back out, and Rashid hits it. Nice shot. Let's see how Stoughton manages this now with two and a half minutes to go, down by seven. They got four, four fouls to give. So I think you're gonna see them play very aggressive defense, go for a hard steal, if they don't get it, quick foul and get that foul count up a little bit because you're going to want to get into that one and one situation here. Right around the two minute mark is where, as a coach, I'd, I'd want to get that foul count up to. Real aggressive on the defensive end here. So I think it's safe to say that you want to milk as much clock as possible if you're Milford. I mean, I know Torres was wide open in that last possession, but I would have liked to see him just kind of dribble that one out. He took the three. Ball ended up being in uh, Stone's hands once again as they were able to get two points on the other end here. So I think now it's now more important than ever. You have to milk the clock here. Unless you have the chance for a, a quick two, a layup, you know, something, a bunny, real easy. I'm not going to, like we've seen the last couple times, force a three or a mid-range jumper. Correct, right, right. They're going to face some pressure here. And Cam Andrews has been flying around on top of people. Real pesky defender. Really a complete game from Cam Andrews. Really like what I'm seeing from him tonight. Inbound, inbound. Oh, just gets it in there, Torres. He gets stripped. Rashid, the big steal. The arrow is in Stoughton's direction. What did I tell you, though? Real aggressive. You knew that was coming. They were going to go for a hard steal. They got the jump ball. Gives them the ball back. He called it. Xavier Rashid with another big play in this fourth quarter. Three from Teixeira is good. There he is. Three-pointer from Teixeira. But here comes Milford as Tamani put his defender on skates for a bit, but he gets the ball to Kelly. Kelly going inside, and he's fouled. Good foul, though, by Stoughton. They've got fouls to give. 57 to 53, 214 left to go here. This is the closest Stoughton has been throughout the second half as they cut the lead to four. Milford's got to be aware of what's going on here. You know exactly what Stoughton's going to do. Tough place to inbound from. Lobs it over. It's stolen. Here comes Lopez. He has numbers. But Vail loses the pass. Elson Lopez found an open teammate. Matthew Vail, but he was unable to control it. And now Milford has another chance here to hold on. Very lucky break for Milford right there. Tamani loses his dribble. Gives it to Anderson. Anderson, he's looking. Ends up in the hands of Torres. He's got 12 seconds here on the shot clock. Arcuri to Torres. Torres has to make a move here. Five seconds left here. Tamani from the corner, no good air ball. And here comes Stoughton, Lopez looking, Travel. he travels. Lopez lost control of this dribble as he was looking for a, an open shooter. And he turns the ball over. So crucial turnovers here from Stoughton, back-to-back -back crucial turnovers. Again, Stoughton's got fouls to give. Anderson thought about it and then realized he has 25 seconds on the clock, so he's gonna use the clock instead.
Like to see him set a screen here for Tamani. Oh, I like this matchup for Anderson. Anderson down low with a mismatch, misses the layup. And then Milford gets the ball back. Hold it. Kelly tries to go back up, he loses it. But Stowen's gonna lose it as well. And that ball is out of bounds off Stowen. Right now the ball's bouncing Milford's direction because there's a couple chances there where Stoughton could have closed the gap. They should have pulled that ball back out after Milford got the rebound. So a fortunate possession. They're gonna change their call? Excuse me, fortunate loose ball ends up off the hands of Stoughton and now Milford will have another chance to milk some more clock here with a four point lead. One minute and six seconds left to go, 57-53. Have to get it in here. He gets it to Torres. Torres back to Anderson. Anderson fakes the three. Back out to Torres. Yeah. You want a foul here if you're Stoughton. Stoughton. Get your hands in there. Active hands and you want a foul. I don't know why they're holding back. 16, 15, 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Milford is just milking the clock here. Crossover from Torres. Torres eventually see, gets no, fouled. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. You finally get your hands, active hands, in there. You might as well just let him. You, you just lost 20 seconds. You might as well just keep playing defense at that point, right? Because now Milford has a fresh clock here, and you almost have to foul at this point if you're still in. Monty to Anderson. Still in, not fouling. You've got to foul. You're down four, 24 seconds on the shot clock. Still in head coach John Galvin. Is telling him the foul when they eventually listen to their coach. They just lost another 10 seconds. In the last 30 seconds, they've li literally lost 30 seconds of basketball game. He's, he's on the court. And you have fouls to give. So now the next foul will finally get you to the one-in-one -one scenario. So we'll do it again. Inbound pass. Inside. Oh, wow. They're going to say it was deflected. Cameron Andrews. Another break for the Scarlet Hawks. And that foul is going to put him at the line. So Dimitri Torres is going to get one and one here. Foul given by Xavier Rashid. Stoughton, 28.9 seconds left to go. Stoughton up by four. And this ball is active here. So Torres picks it. Torres looking to make it six. And he does, six point lead. 59 to 53. He'll get it to the leading score to Sheriff for three, no good. Rebound Kelly, and that ought to do it. Let's hope they stick their free throws here, but man, the last minute of this basketball game, Stoughton really had a chance to give them at least a possession with a chance to tie the game, and I think they've just completely mismanaged the last at least 60 seconds. Granted, a couple bounces didn't go their way. They had a chance when it was a four-point game with a turnover, and uh, Butterfingers down there from Vail, Colorado couldn't, couldn't get his handle on the ball. <laughs> Loose ball goes out of bounds off of Stowen. They can't even catch a break in these last few possessions here, so the ball's gonna go back to Milford. Inbound pass is to share. Goes for the embrace on Kelly just to get him to the free throw line. As I think at this point, Milford can smell a win. Share gets the rebound. Heads up. Three pointer, no good. It's going to stay stolen ball. 6.9 left on the clock. Got to shoot. <laughs> no good. And that's how we end the game here. So the Milford Scarlet Hawks make it two in a row.
as they beat Stowen 59 to 53. Wow, what a game for these uh, Milford Scarlet Hawks as they continue to uh, ride their momentum offensively and pull that one out in the fourth quarter. Well, that's a great victory considering the last time these two teams met earlier this season. Stoughton put up 77 points on Milford, and today they hold them to 53. Yeah, it's a real impressive turn for Milford, who, you know, I think at one point in January had a six-game losing streak. And they really quieted Brandon Texera tonight, who was not able to ever really be a part of the game. He had one big three when it cut the lead to four with just over two minutes to go. Other than that, Cam Andrews does what he always does, and they kept Texera off the scoreboard. And Milford shot the ball exceptionally well tonight from beyond the three-point arc to really give them that boost to start the game. They came out with a mission, sent a message, walked out of here with a W. So with the win, Milford now improves to six and eight, and they keep their playoff hopes alive as they create separation on Stowen. As Stowen will fall now to five and nine in the Davenport standings. I'd like to take this time to thank our uh, camera crew, Matt Winsky, Malcolm Zale, and of course our director, Rob O'Keefe, for this broadcast. Signing off, my name is Joseph Pavone. Special thank you to my co-host, Carl Wilhelm. Good night.